Well, hello, YouTube. Captain Dave in the wolf den one more time. What do I got here? I got me a little knock knock. I'm here. Prime package. This was a direct purchase. Because of your patronage, my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. What is my Amazon Tools of the Trade page? It is a Amazon Affiliates page in which I have all my cool stuff. Things that I've done reviews on, things that I use on my boat that I have on there for you to take a look at because I've done videos of it. It's unfortunate that it's not really set up where you could look at one of the products and see like a, a link to that video. Literally pennies over six months or three months of time have to accumulate and then Amazon sends me, as an affiliate, sends me a coupon code. And I got a coupon code the other day. And as I always like to do, is I want to kick that back into my channel. So I ordered this from Amazon. And what are we opening it with? Being that I'm a knife guy, it's a custom buck 110 with the United States on it and God bless America and the eagle and carved brass bolsters and an absolutely beautiful mirror polished blade. Either way, here we go. And let's take a look. I bought this little body cam. On Amazon, this was like $32. And we're going to see if it's worth a S-H-I-T or not. So, here we go. That is a video recording device with infrared lights around it. And a very weak clip that's not mega strong by any means. Oh, and this does a little rotating type thing. And we're going to do some test videos of this and see if this might work on the boat, out fishing, out shopping, out just getting some footage of where you don't want to pull out your phone, you don't want to be carrying this and pointing it at people or situations. I've always wanted something super micro. So let me breeze through the book real quick here, see if this thing is charged, and let's go do some Jetty Wolf footage. All righty, I am testing out a little, tiny, tiny body cam. And I'm going to be seeing how well it works, even in Walmart. Here it is. That's how big it is. It's about the size of a ping pong ball. And it's got a clip on the back and I can clip it on my shirt but the problem is when it's recording it has a flashing red light I don't know really how this degrees of lens coverage that this is doing but we'll see this is gonna be a test I already noticed it is extremely dark and it's probably extremely dark in this truck right now. But one thing I did notice also is that the microphone is fantastic. 
but the sensor is not good. It doesn't want to pick up in low light compared to, say, a GoPro. All right, let's do a little shopping and a little test inside a store. Look at this. Absolutely pathetic. Used to have ugly stick stripers. Used to have ugly stick catfish rods. Ugly stick intercoastals. Now they, they have nothing. Here's something that I I've got a bunch of these in the boat and I constantly forget I got these to put on a float rig on a on a float I put wanted to put these on a float and see if they could catch a trout and I keep forgetting to use them little cream tiny tiny little little plastic swim baits well Walmart's making their own reels thanks kid thanks to China it looks just like an Okuma or a pen comes out of the same factory over there in Chinaville I'm sure They've been out for a while. Here they got a spinner. A big giant spinner. Three bearings on a roller bearing, almost five to one gear ratio, an 8,000 size for $65. That's actually not that bad. That's a heavy, that's a heavy reel. But this handle is just waiting to break, especially with charter customers. Look, this camera here has a little cousin. Dash cam, one and a half hour battery life, 25 bucks. Alrighty, that was the test of this cheapy camera that I picked up on Amazon because my viewers patronized my Tools of the Trade page. And I got a little coupon from Amazon and what I ended up doing is going on Amazon and looking for a little body camera and I saw this little cheapy one it was like 30 30 bucks or something and it's $30 with a camera so what it ended up being what it ended up being was a little cheapy camera for 30 bucks and I'd like to thank you all for patronizing my Amazon tools of the trade page because that's how I purchased this it's nice and bright out here and I'm hoping it looks better I did see some spandex while I was in there Whew. I tried to get a little footage of it, but I think I missed it. I want to shake the hand of the person, man or woman, who invented tight, painted on yoga pants. I love them. <laughs>